So there's a lot of discussion in the last year, and it seems the pace seems to be quickening about uh, the availability and the processing and the application of rare earths, mm -hmm. right? You got a lot of that coming out of China. You have some in, in North America, some in other regions of the world. Give us a little perspective on, um, on what's going on there. Um, what are the most cost-effective materials um, that are being used in advanced applications today? I think we're taking commodity materials like a copper or aluminum, uh, even nickel, and you add these rare earth, like a beryllium, you add to it to make it that much better. Uh, you don't need a lot of quantity to make the, a copper alloy a lot better. Maybe you would add a, a weight percent of 0.3 to 2% with copper, and you have a completely different uh, material than if you just had pure copper. And they're, they're night and day different in their material characteristics and the, the properties that they can produce and what an uh, inventor can do with that material and take it to the next level in their applications. So, um, so I think you know, for the United States, it's just taking those resources that we have because there's only two um, brilliant mines in the world. Uh, one of them is here in, in western United States, the other one's in, in Russia. So it's, it's used for, for electronic applications, but it's also used for defense type applications as well. But uh, what we're finding even with precious metals like gold, silver, you know, some of the things that you may see more often that are used, uh, and you don't need a lot of it to make a, to make a big impact. True. And other thing we can do is combine materials in various ways. Like, for example, putting uh, inlay clad materials into other materials, like putting silver into a copper alloy, for example, to give a high conductivity spot on a particular connector and still have a strong copper spring base metal. That's a good point, like a component where it might be uh, made out of copper, which is a cheaper metal, but there's only a very small part of that material has a contact point that's actually required. You know, there is where you, th you put a lot of the value in it. You know, whether it's a gold plated or a silver plating, you know, that particular part of the component is where the, the integrity is most important, but the rest of the component that supports that can be you know, a little bit cheaper. So I think people have been as uh, prices have escalated with these, these precious metals that they've found really ingenious ways to just get to the point where that contact is and make it as, as good as possible.